Out of source building is important. It keeps your code nice and tidy, it's good for version control and for organizing your stuff. Today I show how to use SCONS to build your code out of source. So let's dive in. We're starting with a small project here and we already have the as construct file that is necessary to build all of these files, the line.cpp, main.cpp, and shape.cpp. Let's go to our console and build this project. So we go to the console and we are already in the correct directory and we need to call as cons to build the project. Now what happens is that all of the files that have been built are placed directly alongside our main project and alongside the source files. So line.o is directly adjacent to line.cpp. This is what we call an in-source build. So it makes here everything kind of messy and uh, it leads to confusion and generally <clears throat> it's not good practice at all. So let's clean this. And now I show you a better way to do that. We add a second file in our project, which we call main.scons. In this file, we will put all of the necessary stuff to actually build our project. So we will take the content of our S construct file and move it to our main.scons file. By that, the call to the S cons will still go to the S construct, but we will have separated it a little bit better. In this file, we can tell S cons exactly what we want to have here. So we can uh, redirect the call to the correct um, script, which is then defining how to build it. Here we say we want to redirect it to the main ascons, but with a little bit of extra uh, options passed, which is that we want to build a variant of this script here, and the variant should be placed in the folder that we call here build. Let's do it again. And we see here that now all of the files, all of the output products are put into the folder build because it's now a variant of the file that we wanted to build, the main.ascons file. And here we see that everything is neatly packed into our build folder. This is what we call an out of source build. And in generally, you should always aim for an out of source build. However, here we have still a little bit hard coding going on. So we said that the folder has to be named build. And usually it's good to have it named build, but uh, you lose a little bit of flexibility by doing it that way. So what we're gonna do is we will add an option to the script to pass the folder that you want to build it in. So in the ascons way, we will use the add option to the uh, script and this script is called or the option is now called minus minus build. We give it the default, which is built as before. And then we only need to replace here the hard coded string by the option. Now we get the option that has been pa uh, passed during the call of the ascon script. We go to our console again. And in this, uh, we can now type in ascons and use the new option that we have named minus minus build. And for instance, to show you, we can now use build directory or the build deer. And here we see that now build deer is used and we have here a second build alongside it. This allows you to have several builds and uh, build the same stuff probably with different options in different build directories and is used quite commonly. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed the content. If yes, please hit subscribe and as always, enjoy coding.